there's so, speculation so, na yung ano yung 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 mga post nyo and uh, what happened to you might have some uh, uh, might have some ties to the ongoing investigation yung initiate initiate ng office of the ombudsman tama ba yung speculation na yan is there basis for that Ah uh, hindi po kasi I have nothing to do with the ombudsman according to napanood ko siya several times eh Uh, magaling ho siya mag-explain very passionate ang ombudsman he started pala investigating middle of March eh. I think March 13 and he was given a run around and mm -hmm. uh, uh, for yung issues niya uh, the uh, data analysis the delay in the payment of the healthcare workers um, the PPEs uh, certain uh, lapses that led to the death of many uh, Filipinos, yun ho ang kanyang issues eh ang sinasabi pa nga niya eh, uh, hindi lang ho ito mga mga bahay or mga mga nawalan ho ng kung ano mga properties these are people dying so therefore there should be people accountable for that and when i posted my uh, you know being forced Wait. out of the I, I, uh, ntf 13 seconds lumabas yung sa ombudsman eh so hmm. sabi ko it Siguro si Anthony de Padua, parang prayers de. Para nakita ko si Red Deep to sleep. This just concretize what I actually pointed out. So why ang point ko, why I should be punished for telling the truth when the ombudsman clearly told the the public and even the president. What I'm trying to say, I'm not trying to justify myself. But the ombudsman he laid out na it's a legal institution. And the friend of the president yun para sabihin right now na may pagkukulang yan, how can someone who contributed much to the cause of this uh, coronavirus be eased out when I, I gave um, clear directions to Secretary Anyo, Galvez, and Lorenzana? And most of my predictions are accurate. Mm. And I work up to 3 o'clock in the morning crunching data for them. Mm. So, parang naiyak na ako nung ako ini-ease out. Eh. Ganito pala yun, I did not practice for 3 months. Uh, I have a life din naman. Hindi ko nakasama yung mga anak ko at asawa ko. And then suddenly, ganun lang ba yun? Doc, uh, sorry, pasingin ito lang. Uh, yung ombudsman investigation, are you willing to take part in that investigation? Are you uh, willing to talk to the ombudsman about this? Pag inimbitahan po ako, okay naman. Lalo na doon sa data po para magkaroon ng clarity. This is not in any way naman to hurt our colleagues from the Department of Health. Kung imbitahan ho tayo, eh, dagin naman tayo nasa Senate sa sa Congress. So, okay lang naman ho yun. So that we can, alam nyo yung mga investigation na yan, eh, nakakatulong yan to craft a certain guide guidelines and how to improve things, eh. Yeah, Napaka-importante yan, eh. For all we know, uh, may exonerate din sila uh, dyan. If they're doing things naman na, uh, no, kaya lang because of their limitations, hindi nila na fulfill. But you can come up with certain guidelines or measures there. In, in order to improve the system. And, 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 and perhaps kasi pag may ombudsman na kasi, there's a Damocles sword hanging over your head that you, will, you should perform well until uh, magkaroon ng hearing. Kasi ito, Damocles sword na ito eh. eh. Kailangan you have to step up right now to the plate and, and prove to the ombudsman and to the entire country that you're doing your best in order to prevent the epidemic.